Hey friends, in this video we're going to show you how to run the demarcation for your home. So we've had a lot of people call and write in asking for us to give an on-site tour of a demarcation. So we had our video a few videos ago where we talked about how we run the demarcation, but now we're bringing you on site. We're gonna actually show you step-by-step -step how we run the demarcation. It's actually pretty straightforward, but we're gonna give you a quick look. So if you're wondering and not quite sure, hopefully this will help answer your questions. So a quick review on the demarcation. The demarcation is the point on the side of the house next to the electrical meter where the service providers, cable, internet, bring their wire into the side of the home. Now there's a piece of conduit usually that runs from the street that goes underground and comes up right here next to the electrical meter. And that's where the service providers are gonna bring their wire in. Sometimes when you come to wire the home, the conduit won't be there, that's okay. The rule of thumb if there's no conduit is to place the wires on the side of the can closest to the back of the house. That way as cars drive by, they're gonna see those wires and the connection box a lot less. And next thing, we recommend running two Cat6, two coax, and one low voltage power wire, like a 16.2 or an 18.2. Some service providers that provide fiber need some kind of power to power the modem for their fiber. In fact, some of them will even require the home builder to provide an outlet. So we run that low voltage power wire as kind of a get out of jail free card. It's just there in case we need it. Now the demarcation, there's a couple of extras that we can run with it. If you're running actual fiber inside the home, you wanna run a fiber with a demark. There's different types of fiber. There's multi-mode and there's single mode. We're not gonna dive into that too much here, but depending on what your service provider is bringing into the house, they're gonna need a different wire. So for the demarcation, we wanna run both a multi-mode and a single mode fiber with a demarcation. We're still gonna run two Cat6 and two coax and that low voltage power wire, but we'll add in the fiber as well. And then lastly, it's always a good idea to check with your local service provider. Sometimes they will provide the wire for you if you call them and ask them what they want you to run for the demarcation. A lot of times they will give you their wire. Even if you get a wire from the local service provider, we still wanna run the two Cat6, the two coax, the low voltage power wire just to be safe. And then lastly, sometimes we'll use the demarcation as a point to run landscape speaker wires. Maybe right now our client doesn't think they wanna do landscape speaker wire, but we know there's a chance they'll do it in the future. It's a good place on the outside of the home for us to just run two speaker wires. Now, if you know in advance that you're doing landscape speakers and you know the locations are a different place in the home, you would run your landscape speakers to those locations. But if we're doing it just to be safe, the demarcation is a good place to run the speaker wire. So there's a whole lot of stuff that we can run with the demarcation. I'll show you how we do it now. So as you can tell, there's no conduit here at this meter. So what we're gonna do is pull the wire out on the back side so it's closest to the back of the house. We're gonna drill a hole right through the side of the home. You're gonna use a one inch hole. If you need more wire, you can drill a bigger hole. For whatever reason this scares people, it's okay to drill a hole right here. But we wanna make sure that there's nothing on the other side of the wall that we might hit. So check both sides before you drill. Doesn't matter if you go outside in or inside out, just drill your hole there. And then we're gonna pull the wires through I like it if the wire can't touch the ground. It's not a big deal, but especially winter times or when there's rain and mud, I like it if our wire isn't laying in the dirt and the mud. So we cut it just short enough that it can't lay on the ground. I also prefer it if the wires are all the same color. It just looks better on the outside of the home. They could all be white, they could all be black. Once we've got it out here, we know the lengths are good. We're gonna just coil it up one time into a loop and wrap it with tape so we keep it safe and protected. To finish the demarcation, we're just gonna bring it into the low voltage can here. Um, we wanna keep it together, obviously. It doesn't matter if it comes down the left or the right side. I just like to keep it consistent. So if your demarcation comes down the left side, as we go throughout the job, we want the rest of the wires to come down the left-hand side. And then we're gonna keep them all together. The rule of thumb to measure the length for your demarcation and really all the wires coming into the low voltage can is to make an L shape. So we run the wire down to the base of the can and then over in the shape of an L. When you come back and you finish and you clean up the can, you're gonna cut some of this off, but that's a really good rule of thumb as a measuring tip so that you always have enough length on those wires. And then the last thing we do is we're just gonna wrap some tape around the end of it and we're gonna label this DMARC. So that's it, that's how we run the demarcation. Hopefully that's been helpful. As always, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. We'd love it if you'd like, subscribe, and share this with your friends.